Hello. All right. Um, so we're getting back to it. Um, and by it, I mean romancing the one and only Mr. Eight Porta. Um, so last time, I think I was maybe like halfway through. So hopefully today I should finish this route, but let's see how that goes. Um, where is, aha, I think this was it. Yep. All right, let's go. <clears throat> We've got a cooking class today. I'm super excited. Home ec is great because you get to learn how to cook and you don't have to worry about buying or making your lunch. I'd like you all to split into groups and decide who will be in charge of food prep and who will be in charge of the fire. Uh oh. <laughs> Way. I'm the same group as Psyche. Uh, what should I do? Okay, last time I chose fire, but I'm gonna choose fire again because I really do not trust this guy with anything that has fire. <clears throat> Can I make the fire? I'll go grab a hatchet. Roll that knife. Roll that knife up all fresh. Dana. Later. All right, don't hurt yourself. All right, I've got the fire built. Did you get the food ready, Psyche? <clears throat> it, it exploded. What? What happened? Oh, did you cut your finger? Ah, uh, I got a band-aid somewhere. Let me get it for you. Okay, give me your finger. Aw, look at him. So cute with the whole... <laughs> Marilyn threw his head, bleeding profusely, and then I, I love how the MC just ignores the fish. It's like, yeah, 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 your your finger's bleeding, right? There, all better. You have to be careful when you're using knives, okay? Make sure to keep an eye on your hands. Socrates, <sighs> well, Socrates took third place, so now the Mayosoma enters the ring. But bomb queen. <laughs> All right, that laugh, I cannot get over it. What's that? Um, but I'm glad the injury wasn't that serious. You're kind of clumsy, and I'm guessing you didn't do a lot of cooking either. You should be careful. Got it? After that, I helped with the food prep, and my first cooking class ended in success. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Finally, school's out for the day! Hmm? Is that Mr. Arakawa I see over there? Oh... Okay, no. I'll go to my club. Now that I joined the ORC, I should probably actually do stuff for it. Oh! Aorta Senpai isn't here today, and I don't see Marshmallow Kun either. It's you. Thanks for coming. <clears throat> the student council president can't make it every time we meet, since he's got a lot of work for the student council too. And as you know, our club doesn't have that many members to begin with. So, I know this is really jumping right out of the thick of the things for you, but I'd like to have you investigate one of the seven wonders of Kokain Academy. There are some rumors about a female student who wanders around the hall connected to Fourth Floor Library and the, and the craft room. Oh, okay. <clears throat> I'm happy to have something to do, but how am I supposed to know how to investigate this right off the bat? Based on existing information, it looks like the femi th this female student is wandering around the area at sunset. It's not a hot it's a it's not a hot spot for students, so it's pretty quiet. So I should probably find a hiding place and see what happens. 
Hmm, there's all these things I found in the comment box with a girl who's missing the lower half of her body and then some footsteps being heard even though there, uh, no one was around and doors opening when they're supposed to be locked. A lot of strange phenomena like that. That's a lot. <laughs> I'll have to get the cameras rolling so I can gather evidence. Like, oh. Hmm? Oh, did I fall asleep? Oh, footsteps. Is someone coming? Oh my gosh. Hello. You are like right up my face. <laughs> but Marshall, what? Why are you here? You look perv. Uh, <laughs> not you look perv. You look suspicious, you perv. Yeah, you're right. Hiding in a place like this would make a, uh, make me look like some creep. Um, I'm just investigating one of the seven wonders of the occult research club, though. I heard there'd be a ghost around here, so I'm lying in. Wait for it. Isn't it time for children to go home? Wait, is it that late already? I, I have to go home. Ugh, I didn't get anything at all today. She's really timid, so she's not going to make direct contact. She? Th does that mean... You know about the ghost from the Seven Wonders? Oh, A word of advice. Don't dig too deep, or you won't be able to get yourself back out. But if you want to die, then do whatever, dumbass. All right, thanks. Question mark. <laughs> he he left. Uh, it looks like Marshall can know something after all, but I can't figure out what that is. He told me not to dig too deep, but I'm worried about Marshall Kun. This is all so strange, but for some reason, I'm really drawn to it. Hmm. In any case. I guess I'll head home for today. Continue playing, yes. Okay. Let's do it. It's July 4.2. It's Psyche's birthday or it's newspaper collection day. Um, yeah, it's newspaper collection day. I burned all of my old newspapers. The baked potatoes I made were so good. I feel like I'm forgetting something, but I decided it was just my imagination. Finally, lunchtime. Oh, Mr. Arakawa, hello. Oya, Takenaka-kun. Ah, Takenaka-kun. Uh, anyway, you look so cool without your glasses. Did something happen to them? Doyara, boku ga hirune no aida ni datsou shite shimatta yo desu. Saki kara yonde iru no desu ga, henji ga nakute. It seems like that they escaped when I was snapping. I've been calling for them, but... They just won't answer. So your eyes are too bad to see them. What should I do? Um, okay, so we did this last time, so I'm gonna not help this time. Bye! I kind of feel bad, but we gotta make sure we're only romancing Aorta. Also, I feel like, I feel like, um, this route is a lot shorter than like Arakawa Sensei's route. Continue playing, yes. Ah, it's finally summer break, and it's finally time to go out with him. Ah, I promised to go to the beach with Mr. Arakawa. Wait, did we load the wrong file? <laughs> One eternity later. Okay. Now we're cooking. <laughs> okay, now we're cooking. Going back, turning up the voice. <sighs> Today's June 112th. It's Aorta Senpai's birthday. It's Aorta Senpai's birthday! We totally need to celebrate. Maybe he's around here. Aha! Uh -huh. Aorta Senpai! It's so so. Excuse me, please be quiet in the library. 
In any case, though, how can I help you? Oops, looks like I pissed you off somehow. Sorry. But, um, today's your birthday, right? So happy birthday. Here's your present. Okay. Crayons. <laughs> ah, he's so cute. Are these crayons? The, these beauties are legendary items. It's passed down through the generations on this planet. I've heard rumors, but... Huh? You weren't, like, super pissed off? I, I was worried crayons would be too childish for you, Aorta-senpai. Ah, he's so cute! <laughs> Thank you. This is perhaps the first time I've ever seen ever been so happy to receive a gift. And more than anything else, it is truly special that you were the one to give it to me. I can't thank you enough, really, from the bottom of my heart. Oh, he's so happy! Hell yeah! I have no idea what just happened, but I can even see the roses in the background. It was all worth the worrying. Ah, but I'm so happy that you're happy. I hope you have the best birthday ever, Senpai. And so Aorta Senpai's birthday ended in success. Yay, okay. Ah, school's out. I'm running a little late. Oh, hey, is that Marshmallow Coon over there? Maybe I should say something. Um, no, I don't like that guy. Nah, it's fine. I'm going home. Yeah, I'm going home. Continue playing. Yes. <clears throat> uh, it's so hot. I can't believe it's already July. I think there's a swimming lesson today. Hmm, I'm not the best at swimming, but at least I'll, it'll be nice and cool. I remember Koshia Karameruin has an indoor pool, so I bet it's real pleasant. I'm looking forward to it. And on top of that, it's just about time for summer break. Uh, I should ask if someone wants to do anything summery together. Ah, <sighs> but who should I who should I invite? Um, of course, Aorta Senpai. I'll ask Aorta Senpai. Aorta Senpai, would you be interested in going into a festival with me over the summer break? <laughs> A festival? I've never been to such a thing before. I'm a bit worried that an alien such as myself would feel out of place there. Uh, huh. I don't get it, but I just really want to make some nice summer memories with you, Senpai. So, I wanted to go with you. Ah, he's so cute when he smiles! Oh my gosh! <clears throat> Okay. Um, goodness gracious. Well, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to do something like that every once in a while. Oh, you got this vibe around about you that that's all like, well, good grief. I guess there's no helping it. Yes, no take backs. All right. Now I'm all hyped up for summer break. Ah, he's so cute. I love how he like lets his guard down after a little bit. It's our first swimming lesson. Alright, form a line and swim in a forward crawl to the other side. The pool gets steeper as you go to about 50 feet. Make sure you don't drown out there. Okay, that's pretty deep. Kinda scary, but okay. I'll just do my best. Ready, go! Wah! I started out trying to copy everyone else with the forward crawl I learned in middle school, but I don't know how to move forward. I can't breathe. How am I supposed to take a breath? It's getting in my nose. No, 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 this can't be happening. I have to stand up. Uh-oh. Mm hmm? What? My feet don't touch. Shoot, I'm gonna drown. S someone help me. 
。Oh. おい、顔に花ついてるぞ。Well, you got a nose on that face of yours? わっ、さ、さえき。Did you save me? ひよこまらかす、そよ風を添えて。When the chicken rack is garnished that sweet breeze. What does that even mean? But thank you, Saiki. I really don't get what you're saying, but you look really dependable about right now. After all that, Saiki taught me how to, how to swim. It was a valuable lesson. So I guess you just have events with him, whether you like it or not, huh? <sighs> I'm pretty tuckered out today. I guess it's because I haven't gone swimming in so long. Oh, the break's almost over. Ugh, I gotta get back. Whoa! A sudden wave of vertigo washed over me and I collapsed on the spot. My vision went dark and I slowly lost consciousness. No. Tanaka kun. Tanaka kun, boku no koi ga kikoe masu ka? Tanaka kun, can you hear me? M Mr. Arakawa? Um, Catsby. Yokata. どうやら熱中症のようですねそこにあるボカリを飲んで安静にしてください Oh good It looks like you were suffering a bout of heat stroke Quick, drink some of that Raider Gate and, and get some rest Ah,、uh, okay So I collapsed back there? Ah <sighs> I should sure have been needing a lot of help today Ah,、uh, my head hurts 今日はもうウーパールーパーに勝負を挑まないでサターンに帰省した方が好ましいですよ Now, don't go challenging any more axolotls to, go,、uh, to games today, alright? A Saturn homecoming is more desirable. I'm not challenging anyone. By homecoming, I'm guessing he means to go home, though. But neither of my parents are home right now. Let me oxidize the grout on the tiles with these, this 300 yen coin. It's my duty as a doctor. Go make your preparations for the homecoming, and I'll get my ba baby ready for you. Your baby? But since you want me to get ready for a homecoming, that means you want to take me home? Heck yeah, I will get ready. It's kind of weird how in the other routes he's like overly friendly. Like he's very much crossing the boundary of like what a teacher should be doing, I feel like. I don't know. <clears throat> It feels like since I already played his route, like all of his actions just seems really sus. I'm praying for a safe delivery, but. How is that starch tied for you? Uh, what? No, I'm fine. What?、Uh, anyway, so this is your car. It smells nice. And a guy who can drive is really cool. Maybe I should get my license sometime next year, too. The road is so smooth, it's rocking me to sleep. Ah. Me, 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 me. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> ね、What a precious sleeping face. Oh my gosh, it's so creepy. Like, knowing like, what, he's, what he's done in his route. <laughs> ah, okay, let me save. It's July 4.2. It's Newspaper Collection Day. <clears throat> I burned all of my old newspapers. The baked potatoes I made were so good. Uh, I feel like I'm forgetting something, but I decided it was just my imagination. Okay. Finally, lunchtime. <clears throat> oh, Mr. Arakawa, hello. Oh, yeah. Takenaka kun. Ah, Takenaka kun. Uh, anyway, you look so cool without your glasses. Did something happen to them? Do ya? It seems that they escaped while I was napping. I've been calling for them, but they just won't answer. So your eyes are too bad to see them. 
What should I do? Bye. <laughs> Sorry, we only romance Aorta in this house. At least for this row. <laughs> it's finally summer break, and it's finally time to go out with him. I promised to go to a festival with Aorta Senpai. Let's go. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Yo. I'm actually kind of nervous. I can't stop fidgeting. This is where we're supposed to meet up, right? Um, oh, it's quite admirable for of you to arrive five minutes early. Aoda Senpai, I'm glad you came. It feels a little weird meeting up with you at night. Uh, it's got my heart racing. Hashtag happy. Oh. But come to think of it, it's summer, but you're wearing such heavy layers. Aren't you hot? Well, it's nice that you're so fashion forward. I can feel the temperature rising, but the atmospheric temperature of this world changes quite slowly. As such, it doesn't bother me all that much. I don't go out this late at night usually, so it's a nice change of pace for me as well. I'm glad that since it's nighttime, I don't stand out quite as much as I thought uh, as I would. It's a little too lively for my taste, but I suppose that's how just a function like this is. Right? Aren't you glad you came? There are so many places I want to take you to. Let me show you around. Uh, Alright, just don't pull my arm. I'm not going anywhere, so please go easy on me. Oh wow, I never... I had no idea that you had a knack for a die-cutting, senpai. The guy at the booth's eyes popped out at his skull like a hundred thousand feet. I surprised myself too, beginner's luck up perhaps. These festivals, as you call them, are much more fun than I anticipated. Senpai looks so happy. Okay, we have to make a good choice here. I have a- I really want to call him cute. I really want to call him cute just to see his reaction. But maybe I should call him cool? I don't know. I want to see cute. Oh no. Oh, we messed up. <laughs> no! Wait. No. Oh, did we get it right, actually? Hold on. <clears throat> I can't believe you're saying that to someone who's older than you again. But I am getting more acclimated to that part of you. If you think that's a good quality for someone to have, then I won't take offense to it. I'll take it as a compliment, rather. Oh, he's so cute! <laughs> huh? That's... Not exactly the reaction I was expecting, but you look so cute right now with that expression on your face. <laughs> we just keep calling him cute. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. Did I just spend 10 hours admiring his face? My tummy's getting all rumbly. We should get something to eat. I'm starved. Hashtag hungry. <laughs> What's with the hashtags, bro? Hold on. <clears throat> you jump around quite a lot, don't you? Hey, look at this! There's just so many things I want you to try. Want to start with a candy apple? And the sea breed this festival is famous for. And then what about... Okay, at least a choice- Oh my gosh! <laughs> He's got his hands full. This chocolate navava here! <laughs> Munch, munch. Mm. Whatever. This really is a dating sim, huh? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Not the fort wall break. Mm. Ah, sorry. 
Dieses Sache immer. You went too far there. I know, I know. I'm sorry. I just got a little caught up in the moment, is all. <sighs> I was taught to be calm and composed at all times, but for some reason, when it's with you, I can't bring myself to mind. How odd. Thank you for inviting me out today. I was very happy. Somehow, I managed to see so many new sides of Aorta Senpai today. Good morning, everyone! Wait a sec. My whole family went on a, on a trip and left me behind because I overslept. Ugh. What should I do instead today? Okay, he's definitely in the library. All right, I'm gonna go cool off at the library. Ooh, it's so cool in here. I guess I'll take this time to read. <laughs> Oh, hello. I'm impressed that you would spend your summer break studying at the library. Oh, so you're spending your summer break studying at the library too, Senpai? I always knew the student council president would uh, be a total honor student too. Oh no, I don't need your praise. This is hardly that great of an accomplishment. Did you want me to help you with something that you don't understand again? It's really impressive of Eorta Senpai to uh, study during the summer. Oh, right! We had homework over the break. I'll bet Eorta Senpai would help me with all the stuff I don't understand. Ugh. But I was hoping to spend this t uh, this time reading. Um... I mean, might as well take the free tutoring, right? This is great timing since you're already studying, so... I'll get some homework done. Can I sit next to you, Eorta Senpai? I don't mind. Looks like it. Let's get this homework out of the way! Ugh, summer break homeworks, man. Thanks to Yoda senpai teaching me everything, I somehow managed to finish all my homework. Yeehaw! Thanks so much, Yoda senpai No thanks necessary. I was able to finish my homework as well. It's starting to get late though, so you should be careful going home. Aora Senpai get up, gathered up his notebooks and stood up from his seat. And holy cow, it's already 5 o'clock? I'd better be getting home. Oh, oh dear. A sudden downpour. It's quite strong too. Oh crap, it's raining cats and dogs out there. The wind is so strong and was that thunder? Man, what should I do? I didn't bring an umbrella with me, and the library is about to close, so I can't just stay here. Um, I brought a folding umbrella just in case. Wait, Aorta Senpai, you brought a folding umbrella? Incredible! Uh, but I'll have to go east to get to my house. Yours is to the west, if I recall correctly. Ah, but if, what if I walk you home? I believe it's nearby. It will be better than letting you catch a cold from getting wet. I can't say I'm not embarrassed, but please come under the umbrella with me. Ah! I love it. I love it. Eor Senpai opened this umbrella and got closer to me. D does he want to share it with me? I guess he wants to uh, walk me home. OMG, this is amazing. Yeah, walk me home. Under the umbrella. <laughs> For some reason, Aora Senpai looks nervous. Even though he's the one who asked, but like, when he's so obviously nervous, I can't help but feel the same way. Uh, Aora Senpai, you. You know you don't have to do this, right? No, no. That's quite alright. I'm not forcing myself. I said I would see you home. So I intend to follow through. You have a pretty innocent side to yourself, Senpai. Oh, 
My house is over there. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Uh, I see. So this is where you live. Ah, thunder. Whoa, that was some crazy thunder. And the rain is coming down even harder now. What should we do? Um, let Senpai take shelter, I guess? Senpai, do you want to wait out the rain here? Even with your umbrella, you're going to get soaked out there. But, but I'm not sure if it's appropriate for someone like me to be inside your home. I get that you're hesitant, but I seriously can't let you go out in this weather. My family isn't here today for reasons, so there's no point in saying no. Come on. Alright. <laughs> then, if you insist, I suppose I'll accept your offer. So this is your home. It's quite small and cozy. I can't imagine myself getting lost in it. Aiona hey, Senpai's checking out my room. Senpai's in my room. This is totally new for me. My heart's racing. His clothes look so high-end. Ah, I'll bet he's rich. I wonder how much bigger and nicer his room is. D do you think my room is weird or something? I don't often go to other people's houses, and I've only ever visited my childhood friend, Emeth before. But but regardless, thank you for letting me stay. May I dry off my clothes clothes for a bit? Wait, wait, the left side of your body is so wet. Oh, you must have been leaning your umbrella too far over. Oh no. Would you want to take a shower, Senpai? Oh, he's taking a shower. Oh no. <laughs> Are you sure? Then yes. I'd appreciate it. Aorta Senpai in my bathroom? Oh no. It's more likely than you think. Oh crap. I forgot we were out of soap. I need to get another for him. Hey Senpai, you're out of soap, right? Uh, I got you some more. I'll just put it right outside the door for you. Uh huh. Can you not hear me over the shower? Senpai! Hey, are you okay in there? Can I come in? I don't think you should go in there. Yeah, you... Oh, no. Oh! <laughs> as he... Okay, at least he's covering his bits. Ah! The smell of shampoo! What the... Oh! 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 And... Wow! I screwed up! I'm so sorry! Um... I totally didn't mean this in a weird way or anything, but I just don't remember we were off, so... And then you didn't answer me, so... <laughs> His face... Um... Um... <laughs> th th thank you. I I'm so, so, so sorry. I'm leaving now. Oh crap, oh crap. I saw Aeorna said by naked. I was so shocked I couldn't move a muscle. And I guess I, uh, he thought I was staring at his body. Uh, but it's not like I can help that, right? That's not my fault, right? I don't know. I think you should leave the soap in front of the door and not just go in. Uh, um. Yeah, yeppers, what you need? You're so whiny. <laughs> huh. You're such an interesting person. Ever since I came to this planet, no, ever since I met you, strange and wondrous things keep happening to me. My parents have always pressured me to excel at everything, so I've gotten good, gr uh, good at studying and playing the role of an honor student, but none of that is very exciting to me. However, thanks to you, the dull life I've been living has become far more interesting. 
Senpai, I can't see your sprite anymore, so I can only guess what you're saying, uh, trying to say going off how your voice actor sounds. <coughs> oh no. But I'm sure you're trying to cheer me up, right? You're such a nice person. Thank you so much. Mm. We love this alien boy. <clears throat> and so, by the time Senpai got done in the bathroom, the fickle rain had grown tired of this city. Dressed in his expensive clothes, he dried with a hair dryer during his shower. Eero Senpai set off for home. Somehow, it felt like an eternity in a single moment and all at once. My heart was pounding in my chest, but weirdly enough, it wasn't a bad feeling at all. So we had the boy stays in my place and showers here event. That's such a classic. See, I always wonder, like, whenever that happens is like shoujo manga, and I'm like, how realistic is that to... Like, if you're straight and you're like friend from school who's like the opposite sex comes over and then they're like can i borrow your shower <laughs> i don't know <clears throat> i don't think i'll say yes anyway um summer break's already over <sighs> i'm a little sad about it but i can't let that get to me going back to school means i've got to see my friends again i gotta buckle down and do my uh, best in both class and sports Today we'll be having a test to gauge your current abilities. So long as you've been studying, it should be easy. Seriously? Yikes. Oh no. <clears throat> Not the test. Oh, they posted the test results in the hallway. Let's see. My rank is... Wait. Sixth place out of 250 students? Wait, 250 students? That's insane! H how in the world? Aww. Oh, oh. It looks like our second year is doing pretty well, too. Oh, Senpai! I, I guess so. Um, you've been helping me study so much up to now, so I guess I learned a lot without even realizing it. Six mm -hmm. Those are uh, impressive results. It's all thanks to your diligent pursuit of knowledge. Senpai, it's all thanks to your hanging out with me. Thank you so much. <laughs> Always blushing. So cute. Oh, man. Uh, hey, you're far too close. Are you listening to me? Everyone's looking at us. Oh, yeah. What was your ranking, Senpai? I've always been first in my class since I have no other hobbies. However, I can get too careless. I must do my best to make sure uh, you don't sur surpass me. You're holding up a finger, so I'm guessing that means you're the first in the class? Wow, I'm excited to keep working with you from here now and then. Uh, here and out then. <laughs> I told you not to make such a display out of here in the hallway. This is awesome. I think you gave me a compliment or something, so I gotta keep up the good work. <laughs> right, you got it all wrong, but all right. Uh, okay, let's let's keep going. <clears throat> lunch time. Since it's my first uh, day back, I kind of want to have lunch in the cafeteria. Today they've got great white sashimi boat set. Hehe, <laughs> I'm excited to try it. Bonk. Hey, watch where you're going. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh no, my great white sashimi boat set spilled all over. What the F? You got great white shark all over my uniform. The hell are you gonna do with about it, huh? Gonna pay my dry cleaning bill? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Sore wa ichidaiji desu ne. Now, now, what's the big deal here? Hmm. Dou mo kimi kara wa jidou hanbai ki no kahori ga shimasu ne. Hmm. I'm catching the scent of a vending machine from you. M Mr. Arakawa! So no ro desu ka? What was it? <laughs> Is it the Fygoria? Fyoria? 
alveolaris? Alveolaris? Huh? No, no, it's just a little mis misunderstanding. Things I got shit to do with you, Teach. This is between us. Oh, so that's how it is. I see. So that's how it is. Kim, Saki Hodo Awato, Kuzerekami Shogata no Hodokoshimashane. Nimo Kawarasu, Sonoyona Guko. You applied the upper four corner hold on purpose just now, did you not? And yet you play such folly. Koreva. I'm pulling this one from my grandfather's sack of bulrush. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Have you ever heard the saying, let seasoning frogs die? Let seasoning frogs die? Holy... His eyes are so red. <laughs> no way. Nothing he says is making any sense. I thought this was supposed to be a dating sim. What's with the CG on the BGM? Sakihotonokoi. <laughs> That deed just now was nothing short of illegally downloading a car. Per Article 49 of the Kokain Academy School Code, you are not to draw another mole on the principal's butt without permission. This is in violation of the code. I've issued you a, a warning before. Are you looking forward to your punishment that much? Don't worry. I've been excited for it as, as a bit as well. To watch you slowly but surely join me on the dark side. How shameful that will be. I, I, I'm sorry! <laughs> wow, that was faster than light. 5G! <laughs> 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 oh my, I still have a fo photo opportunity. That's one hell of a menacing look. <laughs> Does this mean he was protecting me? He's such a nice person. <laughs> <laughs> it just snapped back. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Now then, Morioka kun, how's your espresso machine today? Whoa, talk about whiplash. Espress? That reminds me, what should I do about my lunch? Ugh, this great white was the whole point. So I guess all I have left is this plain white rice. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Here, offer this to the restroom. Is this your lunch? So you're offering it to me? But this is your food. I'm skilled at contemporary dance, so it's fine. Well then, that's all. Oh, he left. <laughs> I wonder if we throw the lunch away that he's gonna like kill us or something. Um, I'm kind of curious. <laughs> Hopefully I don't die. What if I throw it away? <clears throat> A lunch made by someone else? That's disgusting. Ye oh no. Am I gonna die? Oh, okay, okay, I have it. Okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, I'm trying everything under the sun to only raise the romance points with Aorta. I wonder, hold on. I wonder how many hearts we have. One, two. Oh, we just have two. Dang, okay. Okay, well. I guess like that's halfway point. <clears throat> Today's our cultural festival. Where should I go first? Um. Okay. So I remember that the gym, I believe, had Arakawa Sensei. But I think my classroom. Oh, gosh. Hold on. I really have to make a good choice here. 
Let's see. Um, I'm pretty sure the gym has Arakawa Sensei. Maybe this one has Marshmallow Kun? And my classroom probably should have Saiki? I'll go check out my classroom. Hmm. The second year class, uh, Pom Pom is doing a cross dressing May cafe? Oh no. <laughs> I'm deceased. Please go home, God. S Psyche? Uh, were you trying to say welcome home, master, or something? I'm Yuko chan. I'm Yuko chan. I'm Yuko chan. I'm me and myself. Call me whatever you want. I never thought Psyche would dress up as a maid. Why don't you put your bulletproof cardigan on this picnic blanket? I'm not wearing a bulletproof cardigan, and that's not a picnic blanket, but sure, I'll let you show me to my seat. One heaping pile of salt coming right up. Psyche's in top form today. I'm dead. He's just... <gasps> that is so expensive. Okay, 5,600 yen for three hours. Oh. You brought the menu. Thanks. Um, now let's see. Are the only options on here really just water, salt water, and the ultra cute heart omurice? Hmm. Well, I guess there's no limits to what high school students can sell. Just salt water. Alrighty, I'll get the ultra cute heart omurice then. Hi, Kore this. Yep, here you go. That was fast. Uh, I guess it's because the, it's the only real option on the menu. Like this and this and done. Sa e ki. Wow, isn't the ketchup to egg ratio supposed to be the other way around? Um, but when I think that Saiki did his best to draw that for me, it feels like such a waste to eat it. But but it'd be rude not to. Down the hatch. Mm. Holy crap, that ketchup is sour! I can't believe how awful this tastes, but Psyche, uh, Psyche's eyes are sparkling as he watches me. What should I say? Um. Oh no. I mean. Uh, I guess we'll just lie. It's delicious. It's uh, d delicious! Thank you for making it for me. Chandelier is now in the well, the chandeliers are in season right now. Ah, he looks so happy. It was all worth it. You wanna see a stream of the Bavaros Paste Pro? Huh? Oh, oh, um, you wanna feed me? Wait, that's... I mean, I don't not want to, but it's a little embarrassing. Hey! Yeah! One thing led to another, and I ended up having a heart-pounding, nerve-jittering time at the cultural festival with Psyche. Yeah, that's a lot of ketchup. I feel like that'll be... <laughs> You'll have to drink a lot of water after that. Okay. I wonder... Okay, I... So, I have played Arakawa's route before. But I wonder if Marshmallow Kun is actually in the classroom. Um, the first-year classroom, I mean. Let's see. Yeah. Is it this one? Is it? I just want to see if that's who it is. Oh no! We made the wrong choice. Okay, okay, okay. I'm glad we loaded back then. Hold up. Yeah, okay, so we should be we should be doing the first year's classroom. I'll check out the first year's class. There might be something interesting there. Aorta-senpai! Uh, oh, it's you. Are you enjoying the cultural festival? Hmm, is this the haunted house? Uh, were you thinking about going in? Oh. maybe he's scared of it? I don't know. Well... 
As the student council president, it's my duty to investigate every classroom to ensure that they pose no threat to the students. But I've had a hot hard time with this particular thing. Uh, I have some reserves around going, out, going in there alone. Um, perhaps, if it's alright with you, would you be interested in going through the haunted house with me? It, it's not like I'm scared though. I'm, I swear. Oh no, he's so cute. Yeah, as usual, I have no idea what you're saying. Are you trying to figure out if you want, uh, should go in or not? Uh, let's go together. You should go. If you want, I can go with you two. Come on, come on. <sighs> I'm grateful for your offer. Apologies for making you go out of your way, though. He looks pretty freaked out, but I get to go through the haunted house with Aorta Senpai. Score! Oh, this is... I hope they hold hands. Ugh, it's a lot darker in here than I thought it'd be. Actually, Senpai... Oh, he's so close. Aren't you a little close? Um, don't tell me, are you a scaredy cat? Oh, 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 something's coming up. Uh, I am not. There's no such thing as ghosts. It, there's not. And there's absolutely no reason to be afraid of a hoax made, uh, made up by some random students. He got angry at me for some reason. I'm sorry. But, um, you've been kind of shaking like a chihuahua for a while now, you know? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> the, 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 that just. It, it's just my phone vibrating. Mmm, you must be really scared, huh? Aw, it's hard to focus on the haunted house because Senpai's too close to me. Uh, I can smell the aroma of coffee on him. Exit to the left. <laughs> Huh? Marshmallow Goon? A heard of Senpai. Oh no. No! He's dead! <laughs> he's, he's just lying on the floor. <coughs> senpai! Senpai! Are you okay? A heard of Senpai? Oh my gosh. I know you didn't mean to scare us, but that freaked him out so bad he fainted! Exit to the left. S sorry I didn't realize this was your clash, Marshmallow Coon. <laughs> For the time being, I left with the haunted house with Aorta Senpai in my arms and headed for the nurse's office. It was surprisingly heavy. Actually, well, he is a pretty tall person. All in all, the cultural festival may have been exhausting, but it wasn't all that bad. <laughs> Aww, poor thing, he passed out. Hmm. It's October 39th. Um, yeah, time to air out my futon. I aired out my futon! It was such a nice day out with the sun shining down on me. La 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 lunch time! I'll eat something from the cafeteria today. Oh, Eoda Senpai, are you eating at the cafeteria too? That's a first. <laughs> Oh, what a coincidence. I come to the cafeteria often enough, actually. I need to ascertain what, uh, whether the food tastes good, whether it's nutritious and balanced, whether there's too much or too little flavor. If you'd like, we could eat together. Oh wow, he's really going off about something or other. 3,000 SQ ties. Oh, you're here too, Psyche. It's Gamer Week for Ishi too, so how about we bring around the mochi? What? You mean like, let's eat together? Oh, he's, he's upset. Wait, Saiki-kun, your slovenly attire is unacceptable. Quit wearing that hoodie. 
it causes your blazer to get all bunched up. Uh, it's the diameter of the Shiba Inu that unhinged. Honestly, from your clothing to your piercings to your hair, you've only just transferred here, and yet you're already so unruly. If the guidance counselor saw you, they would surely give you an earful. But Arashi's got a contact lens on his right hand and ramen growing on his knee. You know how it is with me and him, three times removed, fully vaccinated, achievements unlocked. Did you call Mr. Arakawa Arashu, Saiki? Uh, yeah, I don't really get what this conversation is about, but did Aorta Senpai just get mad at Saiki? What should I do? Um, encourage Saiki to apologize, I guess? Yeah, I really don't get what's going on here, but Saiki, Aorta Senpai said all of that, so you should apologize. Come on, make the most of the night like we're gonna die young. <laughs> what's with these lines? <sighs> My voice is totally local local flavor, but sorry. As long as you understand, it's fine. Now hurry up and take off that hoodie and those piercings. Uh, yeah, no clue what's going on, but I'm glad you guys got it all sorted out. It's all because you scolded him for me. You are my thanks. Iroda Senpai is bowing his head to me. Is this his thanks or something? No way, I didn't do anything that all, all that important. But anyway, um, let's eat lunch together. <laughs> let's eat lunch together. What's with the other choice? Like, you got something on your clothes to make him look down? <clears throat> of course, I'd love to spend some time together. I think that was a yes. Lunch with Aorta Senpai. Hell yeah. <laughs> When I ask you about Saikigun, do you two get along? Huh? Don't ask me questions! I have no idea how to answer you! I see. In that case, you can ask me whatever you wish, and I'll nod or shake my head in response. You gave Saiki a good scolding back there, but like, are we not allowed to dye our hair? You have highlights yourself, senpai. No, you can style your hair however you like, but if you dye it with bright colors, people will associate you with delinquency. At least that's how the older generation sees it. In this modern age, however, we ought to respect a person's individuality. Oh, he's nodding his head, so we can dye our hair. Well, it's not like many people have too big of a problem with colorful hair. Then, what was it? The piercings? His clothes? Oh, it's because wearing this venerable school's uniform like that and to from school will ultimately damage our reputation. It's my job as a home owner to warn people of that. However, uniforms are technically not required here. And so there are many uh, many who mistakenly believe it's alright to combine casual clothing with a uniform. Oh, then why are you yelling at him? Like, if uniforms are not technically required here, he's not really required to wear the uniform here, right? Oh, so you're nodding again, so it was the clothes. Hmm, now that I'm looking closer, I can see your uniform doesn't have a single speck of dust on it, and it's uh, iron to boot. Just what you'd expect from the student council president. After that, Aorta Senpai and I have a friendly conversation over lunch. I think it was time well spent. Man, how does the MC like keep getting along with him when she doesn't understand anything about his language? I feel like at this point, like he should just teach him her about whatever he's speaking. <clears throat> But I guess the, that's the whole point, is to be confused. It's Halloween! Should I take up the opportunity to go trick-or-treating? I could start with... Aorta Senpai. I'm gonna load up on candy from Aorta Senpai. 
All right. Hey, Aorta Senpai, trick or treat, smell my feet. <laughs> a treat? What on earth does that mean? I don't have any candy on me at this moment. Wait, Aorta Senpai, do you not actually know what Halloween is? Halloween? Is that a part of the culture in this nation? Halloween is like when kids dress up like monsters and go around asking people for candy. You say, trick or treat, because if someone doesn't give you candy, you have to prank them. Basically, the choice is candy or a prank. And that's why you're supposed to carry candy around uh, with you on October 31st. <laughs> Oh. I saw. Thank you, then, for telling me. Now, forgive my ignorance, but j just what do you mean by a prank? Oh, uh -huh. senpai, are you ready to find out what it means to get pranked? Yeah. I can't wait to see how you look all embarrassed. Oh, no, what are you going to do? No. <laughs> You want to embarrass me? Honestly, just because I don't have any candy for you? What on earth are you going to do to me? Uh-oh. <sighs> no, never mind. When I came here, I swore I would follow the rules of the land. My ignorance does not excuse this blunder I made. Uh, alright. I prepared myself. I won't be a sore loser. I will accept my punishment. Senpai's face is already turning red. <laughs> oh my gosh. Or blue. I wonder if you'll be able to handle this. Huh? What is she gonna do? Oh, what in the Hey, yo. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> Oh my gosh. This is. <laughs> Yo! I don't mind what you do to me, but but this is my first time, so please be gentle. Senpai! <laughs> What's with that expression? Why'd he take his clothes? I think he might have misunderstood. Does he think that Frank is something sexual? Yeah, why is he taking off his clothes? Like, that's really sus. No, I can't tell what he's saying exactly. Is it even right to keep going? Um. Oh my gosh, flick his forehead really hard or feel up his ears. Hey yo, hold up. Yo. Oh my gosh. Um. I mean, I don't want to like injure him, so maybe like tickle his ears. Get ready! I'm about to give your ears a good rub down. <laughs> hey, yo! <laughs> what? <laughs> what? No, stop! My ears are sensitive, so please don't touch them. <laughs> Yo, these noises are sus! What? Oh, I don't think I'm gonna read that. No. <laughs> Holy... Hey, what is that? It's way too sexy. Here's... His ears must be really sensitive. I mean, you're literally being... You're sexually harassing him, I think. What should I do? He's gonna get so pissed at me if I keep this up, but I just can't stop. His ears are so smooth, just like a shark. Shark? They're like the paw pad keychains you'd buy on a field trip or something. I'm getting addicted. I want to touch them forever and ever. Oh no. Oh my gosh. Okay. 
Actually? Bruh. Oi! Out da! Yo! <coughs> Hello, Aorta. This is so wrong. <laughs> oh my gosh, thank goodness he's here. Huh? You're with Cassie Kun? What are you two doing in here? Oh, it's the president of the occult research club, Naxima Mori Senpai. Uh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to shout in the library, but don't worry, it was nothing to worry about. Did you want something from me? Oh, Oh yeah, our homeroom teacher wanted to talk to you. They announced it over the intercom, but you never came. So I figured you got caught up on reading, and now I'm here. Oh, <laughs> I see. Sorry to make you go out of your way. I'll get going then. Wow, he sure is fast. I never even told him where to go, though. You look pretty flustered. Did something happen? It's not like I did, didn't know why, but I kept my lips set to protect Aorta Senpai's dignity. <laughs> ah, but seriously, I'm just relieved he didn't get mad at me. That's so... Oh my gosh, this is like getting weird like actually let's keep going today's our sports festival the courtyard is flooded with students hmm what was the event i was gonna do again uh tag along race two-legged race or folk dancing um hold up let me save and then folk dancing sounds fun but, hmm, I feel like, let's see, is this, is this the right choice though? Wait, 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 wait. Is this it? Oh, okay, 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 it is, okay. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so going back to... This one. Go to folk dancing. Pretty sure it was folk dancing. They're gathering us soon too. I gotta hurry. And the next event is the folk dance. Dance partners will be decided regardless of class grade, or gender. Points will be given to the classes depending on which pair dances the best. Now everyone, let's get dancing! We're gonna- we're gonna dance <laughs> to this rock music in the background. Some exotic sounding music began playing and all the students began dancing to it. But- but I'm not that great at dancing. I learned a choreo more or less, but I really have to get try hard to get points. Let's see, my partner is. Oh! Yeah, Aorta Senpai. Wow, of course the student council president would look so noble and elegant. Just as presidents alone set so, his dancing apart from everyone else. I have got to get my hands on this guy. Come now, keep your eyes on me and follow my lead. Don't think about anything else. You only need to clear your mind and let your uh, let me be your guide. Is this something all rich kids learn? Yes, I suppose I've learned, but it was uh, mostly just me watching others and imitating them. Just don't do anything that uh, will hold me back. Oh crap! I keep tripping over my feet. Boink. Aww, I'm gonna hug him. Oh no, what the? Yo! 
<laughs> what? How do you fall like this? You Ow, ow, I fell. Huh? I can't see anything around me. It's pitch black. What? Um, um. <laughs> That's my question. Hey, how is it even possible for you to fall in here? Oh wow, I can hear my heart pounding my, in my ears. I must be super nervous from dancing with Eora Senpa. <laughs> no! Okay, but that's kind of cute. That's kind of cute. It's his heartbeat, not my heartbeat. <laughs> Get out of there. I, I'm sorry. I never thought anything like this would happen. <laughs> Who falls inside a shirt? That's insane. <laughs> Honestly, I can't believe he did something like that. And that's all she wrote. The folk dance is over. <sighs> we did nothing but trip and fall over each other. I I'm sorry, we missed so many points because of me. No. It's my fault for failing to predict this. For her to fall inside of your shirt? <laughs> <laughs> how do you fall? How do you even fall like that? You have to like be really short and then like jump up and then also hold your shirt, I guess, open for her to go inside. <clears throat> I didn't take uh, you two into consideration and thus the error is mine. You didn't do anything wrong. Senpai, I don't know what you just said, but it just sounds like you're trying to forgive me. That's so nice of you. And so the sports festival came to a close. This is just like fan service. Like his whole route is like fan service. I feel like. I continue playing. I want to see the ending. How messed up it's going to be. <laughs> uh, autumn is already in full swing, huh? They say autumn's the best time for reading and art, but I'm pretty sure it's the best time to stuff my face. I've been buying those delicious fried chocolate twists from uh, the food stall every time it comes around. I told you to come out with the baby face. Is one per day too many? Maybe. Yeah, but the string thunder is rolling in. Oh shoot! Lunch is already over? Ugh, autumn days just passed by way too quickly. I have to finish the baki I got. Much, 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 much. Much, 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 much. Huh? What's up, Psyche? Oh, you want some baki too? If you want it, you're gonna have to work for it. Just kidding. What? Is that blood? Oh no. Oh my gosh, my nose is bleeding like crazy. Ask for a tissue. S Psyche, do you have a tissue or something? Here's a sandpaper three. Yeah, sure, sandpaper's fine. <laughs> Thanks, Psyche. Well, well. Uh, Psyche tore up the sandpaper into little pieces to make it easier to shove it up my nose. Ouch. <laughs> he's so nice, but I still have no idea what he's saying. Anyway, I put all the sandpaper into my nose. It actually didn't stop the bleeding, but Psyche did just put a pat on the back, so it's all good. <laughs> Ugh, I don't think you should stuff anything up, up there, especially sandpaper. <clears throat> Finally, school's out. Sweet freedom. Wow, relatively alcoholic. Oh, Psyche, you must have been worried about my nosebleed earlier. Thank you. Oi, Hey, eat a fart. <laughs> oh, Psyche. Psyche was tugging on the sleeve of my uniform. Was he asking to go home together? What should I do? Um, I mean, sure, like, don't ditch him. Like, he just helped you, kind of. <laughs> kind of. Let's go home together, Psyche. So Psyche and I hung out together on our way home. We even got bubble tea. Ooh. Yum. What flavor did you get, Psyche? 
You keep your skull planes and carbonic acid or what? I didn't have many friends at our old school, so walking home with Psyche like this, drinking bubble tea, it felt like I was really living life to the fullest now. Uh, Psyche, have you made any other friends at school? I'm real time with the same mass as Jupiter. Ugh, talk about extroverted. But today you decided to go home with the uh, home with me because you were worried about me. Thank you for that. Of course I'm worried, but I'm here because I wanted to be here with you. Oh my gosh. Why is he so romantic all of a sudden? <laughs> I don't know. I want to think of you as a friend, you know? Hey, 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 your hemoglobin disease is on the rise. <laughs> Whenever he does this kind of thing, it's so bad for my heart. I wonder if Psyche thinks we're, we have a special relationship or something. I don't know what he thinks of me or even what he's saying, but I was still a little giddy the whole way home. All right. <laughs> this is this is very interesting. I I feel like next time I should romance Psyche, but I don't know. I feel like maybe I should do that do that like off stream. Um because I feel like the two characters that I wanted to romance in the beginning was Arakawa and Aorta. So maybe I'll do that off stream. Let's see. <sighs> it's December already. Today marks the end of the second term. I can't believe I've been at the Koshiyam Karameroin this long. So much has happened, and I've done many things with him, you know, this and that, such and so. For some reason, it's still hard to f figure out what everyone's saying, but I really feel fulfilled with my school's uh, school life up to now. My, you haven't bitten in a hole. Oh, Mr. Arakawa, good morning. Oh yeah. Hmm, you have an even number of years. Did you not get enough sleep? Uh, between the two of us, I'm pretty sure it's you not getting enough sleep. Your eyes are like, always closed. Or is it periodontal disease? Fluorescent lamps can start a coup if you don't take it in shifts, so you'll want to observe them plenty. Oh, I've just comprehended. Asama-kun, could it be you have an infatuation with beer? Or maybe hot pot stickers? Yikes! I I'm not in love! Aren't you the one who's head over heels in for beer and pot stickers? <laughs> There's no need to conceal it. I understand. I'm a shochu man myself. I've sensed it for three years now. You have a quantum mechanical absolute water inside you that makes your intestines bo boil over. <laughs> um, no, we literally just met eight months ago. Uh, it's just, I just, I don't, you know, have anyone I like. Um, because, you know, no one in this school, including the teachers, know how to have a conversation. Don't say that. Remind yourself of their lovely face and voice. Mune. No. Kao. Suizo. Koka. Sune. Futokoro. Ondo to hisu no joshu wo kanji torimasen ka? Your chest, your brain, your face, your pancreas, your groin, your nails, your bosom. Can't you just feel the rise in humidity? So, I just think of the person I like? Um, okay. So this is him. This is Aorta. 
Um, that's Psyche. This is Marshmallow. So this guy must be Aorta? Uh, I like this guy with Senpaku eyes and glasses, who has skin as white as snow. Aorta Senpai. But, but there's no way he feels the same about me. He's the student council president of this big-ass school. He's always hard at work, and I'm just one single student in the crowd. Arg. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh my, not even a goodbye. Silly child. Wow, he's really different when you're like not in his route. <laughs> I can't believe he'd say all that. Mr. Arakawa's worked here for forever or something, and I'm sure he knows all about his students' love lives, but like, if he and I, we were like that, and we don't, we don't want dates and stuff, oh gosh. I'm gonna have a heart attack at this rate. Oh, oh yeah, it's just about Christmas. Should I invite, invite Aorta Senpai on a date uh, to try to get closer to him? Uh-huh, let's do it. Okay, I'm gonna muster up all my courage and ask him out. Let's do it. Oh, there he is, Aorta Senpai. Good morning. Also, please don't shout in the library. Um, you know, so Christmas is coming up. Uh, do you want to go somewhere with me? Christmas. Uh, it does seem that on this planet, there are many places you can go to beautiful lights, uh, see beautiful lights during the summer. Wait, don't tell me, Aura Senpai. Do you not know? Do you not know what Christmas is? December twenty fourth is Christmas Eve. It's a super special day, and I was hoping that you and I could maybe spend that special day together. Or is that stupid of me? A special day? On the 24th? Alright. I have plans to study, but if that's special of an occasion, I'll just have to cancel them. If you want it that badly, then I don't mind spending the day with you. I would like for you to tell uh, me more about the, what people do on Christmas, though. Senpai is nodding his head! That means it's yes, right? I managed to snag a Christmas date with Aorta Senpai. Holy balls. I'm so happy. You should explain to him what Christmas is. <laughs> now he's not, he's just gonna be like, I don't even know what, why I'm here. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. I think in Japan they order chicken, like KFC for Christmas dinner, but, which is a very interesting tradition. Um. It's today, the day I've been waiting for, Christmas, and I'm going on a date with the guy I like. Oh my god, what do I do? What should I wear? Um, okay, I feel like with Aorta Senpai, you should dress up. I'll put on a nice suit. I'll go all out with this make uh, and this make sure I captivate him. <laughs> Wearing a suit to date. Uh, we're supposed to meet here. Aura Senpai's- Oh, there he is! Good evening. I hope we have fun tonight. Hey, Aura Senpai, did I keep you waiting? Um, no, I only just arrived myself. Don't worry about it. You wear that outfit a lot. Aren't you cold in it? Oh, the climate on this world is much different than the one I'm used to. The change in temperature doesn't really uh, actually warrant changing my attire. Oh. Is there perhaps a certain outfit I'm supposed to wear during this Christmas holiday? 
Well, it's not like it matters. Cool colors look great against your pale skin, and you look really cool too. Oh, did we mess up? Oh no. I hope we didn't mess up. Is your outfit perhaps a costume worn by the people of this world for such an occasion? Aura uh, senpai pointed at my shirt. Um, do you think my outfit's weird? Oh no! Dang it, okay. So we shouldn't dress up. What? <laughs> this game, I swear. Okay. Okay, so we should dress down. I'll just wear something normal. I'm feeling weirdly self-conscious about this. If I dress up, he'll probably think I'm super cringe. <laughs> I'm sure he'll be more comfortable if I just look like I always do. Okay, so it was a bad idea to dress up. We're supposed to meet here. Eora Senpai. Oh, there he is. Hey, Eora Senpai. Did I keep you waiting? Oh, okay. So this is just the same conversation. Wait. Oh, no, no. Okay, okay. Okay, so this is all the same. Oh, hey, it's freezing out here. Let's get going, shall we? Yes, let's. Follow me, please. I've reserved the place for us to eat. Wow, he plans. I love that. Eero Senpai, where are we going? Is he taking me somewhere? I should follow him. That's so cute. Th this is a fancy French restaurant? Uh, Eora Senpai, I kind of had this idea in the back of my head that you were rich or something, but it feels so weird for two high schoolers to go somewhere like this. Let me treat you today. I hope it's to your taste. We sat down on a table uh, with forks and knives set out neatly. Before long, a server brought some hors d'oeuvres for two people and poured me some lemon water that had just been the faintest note of sourness. The meat here is quite good. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Oh, try to relax, okay? Just enjoy your meal as we watch the city lights. I have to live up to Eora Senpai's expectations here. Just have to empty my mind of everything but fine dining and breathing. Fine dining and breathing. I ate my hors d'oeuvre and suit mechanically, like I was a hundred year old computer. Honestly, I was so nervous I didn't even taste the food. But. Oh. <laughs> Senpai's face as he handles his cutlery is so, so, so beautiful. I'm so fixated on him. I don't go to restaurants like this often, and that's that made me so nervous. I can't taste anything. But the fact that I can spend Christmas with someone I adore makes my heart pound in my chest. Aww, he's so cute! Mm. The meat here really is something special. I was right to bring you here. Oh no, what's wrong? You've been staring at me for some time. Is there something on my face? Oh, uh, sorry, I was staring at you. Um. I was just thinking that you're so pretty when you eat. Where did they teach you how to do it so gracefully? That's such a weird compliment to give to someone. <laughs> you're so pretty when you eat? <clears throat> hmm. Answering that is a little complicated. I learned the same way Japanese people learn how to use chopsticks. These forks and knives or whatnot are very useful, similar to the cutlery I've used where I'm from. I'm not rich like you, so I don't really know these things. Just tell me if I'm using them wrong, okay? I mean, it's fork and knife. Can't be that hard, right? <laughs> I don't believe there's anything to be worried over, but if I had to say something, you're holding the knife and fork in the wrong hands. Honestly, it feels like there's a world of difference between me and Aorta Senpai. Like, there's a giant glass wall wedged between us. I rub my hands around the damn freezing but creamy clam 
uh, creamy clam chowder and desperately slurp it down. So good. Hmm? Something's off. Th this thing, it's... I'm pretty sure this is one of my super mega cosmic explosion-y sneezes that only comes out <laughs> once every four years. Oh my gosh. What do I do? Shoot. They put pepper in my food. That's my Achilles heel. If I cause an explosion here, I hear a senpai. Is it the only one who gets freaked out by it? But while I was mulling it over, the unstoppable force crept up to me like a meteorite. No one could resist it. Ha? Huh? Ha? Huh? Achoo! Oh no! <laughs> I let it out. I was so terrified of your senpai. I have to apologize. No, that's so oh, disgusting! Ew! Yo! That's so gross. Um, this is... No. It's not like you can just stop a sneeze. It's just one of those things. Don't worry about it. I would freak out. If, if I was on a date with somebody and they like... Almost like... They like splattered the soup all over my face. I would honestly walk out right there and then. I'd be like, bye. <laughs> ah! I got stew all over you! I can't believe I just got white stuff all over his beautiful face and clothes. What do I do now? Um, I feel like you should offer a handkerchief, no? Unless that's wrong. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Um, yeah. Yikes, I'm so sorry. Here, you can have my handkerchief so you can write, uh, wipe it off. Thank you, that's a good idea. I'll go ahead and use it. Senpai wiped off all the cream with my hanky. When he finished, he reached for his jacket pocket to put it inside. I'll take responsibility for this handkerchief and wash it for you. I'll send back, uh, I'll send it back to your home, so please entrust it with me. Wait, wait, wait. I wasn't giving you the hanky. Oh, but maybe you wanted to take it home and wash it? In that case, it's fine. Don't worry about it. It only got dirty in the first place thanks to me, so I should be the one who do, to wash it. <laughs> really? Well, if you insist, then you can have it back. Senpai gave back my handkerchief, but when I caught a whiff of the rich sauce and the faint scent of Aero Senpai's mixed, uh, mixed in with it, I thought that maybe I don't actually want to wash it. Just maybe. This is so creepy. This is actually so gross. Oh my gosh. I tried to give him money for dry cleaning, but he just shook his head and refused it with a little smile, as if he didn't really care that much. Senpai really isn't uh, just level-headed and cool. He's also really kind and gentle. And it was this Christmas date that really, uh, fully, I can't read. And it was this Christmas date that made me fully realize that the extent of that. Oh, it is almost Christmas IRL too. So that's, that's kind of funny. <laughs> but man, if I sneezed at my date like that, I would like, I would, I would feel so bad. I, I wouldn't even have my... Like, I wouldn't have the heart to see them again. I would just freak out. <laughs> Happy New Year! It's almost January. This only happens once a year, so I went to ring in, the, uh, ring in the New Year at the neighborhood shrine. I'm actually- I'm not actually religious, though. The shrine is bustling with people. There's even a line to pray at the Hall of Worship. Over in the courtyard, uh, though, there's a setup for making mochi and playing Hanetsuki. What should I do? Hanetsuki? I'll go play Hanetsuki. Hey, let's go. Oh, what a coincidence meeting you here. Oh, you're here too, Aorta Senpai. Happy New Year. Do you like Hanetsuki? Hanetsuki. <laughs> Yes, I have heard this Hanetsuki, as you call it. It's an ancient Japanese game. But I must ask, why are the faces of those children painted, and what is the difference between this and badminton? 
Is it because the rackets are similar? Smaller? What are you just standing around for? Let's go play Aorta Senpai. But I, I still don't know what the rules of this game are. Won't I be uh, quite out of place trying to play with this, uh, play this children's game? You'll be fine. See that little thing with feathers on it? Whoever drops it loses. All right. Dang, he looks so cool in this CG. <clears throat> so you just have to keep it in the air. I'll hit it to you, and then you hit it back. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Uh, like this? See, you're doing great. I'll return it back. Here you go. The birdie I hit flew over and knocked over <laughs> Aorta Senpai in the head. <laughs> Oh, I dropped it. Forgive me. I'll be sure to hit it next time. You dropped it. Hee hee hee. Do you know what happens to someone who drops the birdie in Hanatsuki? They get their face scribbled all over with blank, black ink. It, is that right? So having your face painted is the mark of a loser. Hold still, Ayota senpai I want to mark you up real good. Take off your glasses for a sec, will you? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> You look so goofy! Ah, it tickles. And that one pisses you off, huh? Well, if that, that's the case, you'll just have to make sure you hit it back next time. Uh, Alright, again. Let's go again. Senpai picked up the birdie he just dropped and got ready to serve. Ooh, you want to go for round two? Fine by me. I won't lose to you. I received the birdie that he hit to me, uh, and he caught it too. The rally back and uh, went back and forth for a while, but just then, Senpai got a sharp look in his eye and smashed it down. It was so unexpected and so fast that I couldn't catch the birdie, and it dug into the gravel on the shrine grounds. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like you've under underestimated my abilities in your carelessness. Well, crap! I can't believe you got down a uh, pat so quickly. I guess that's what we what they call you, a uh, prodigy, Aero Senpai. He took the brush and drew something small on my cheek, almost apologetically. Okay, but I definitely won't lose round three. And after that, we kept playing Hanetsuki. I had a blast today. This is so wholesome. I really don't know what kind of twist that he's gonna have. Because every story in this really messed up dating sim has a really messed up ending. Like, Arakawa sensei was like a trip. Anyway, <laughs> let's keep going. Um, yes. All right. Winter break is almost over and school is back in session. I might as well take a look at my horoscope since it's new year. I'll check mine and my crushes. Let's see. Mine says, I got a great luck coming my way. Maybe something will happen with my crush. And it says my lucky charm is shotgun. Sick. <laughs> but it says everyone except me has a bad luck. Is something bad going to happen? They'll have to take care of their health and honor so that it doesn't happen. It looks like the luck and charm is longing for pleasure. That kind of sucks. Oh, that's the bell. Gotta put away my celly. Or celly. <laughs> Alright, happy new year everyone! Now take your seats! Hmm, I thought it was a little too quiet here in here. Is Saiki absent today? Do you know anything about this, Catsby? Uh, well, there's a bag in his seat, so he should be at school, right? Maybe he went to the bathroom? That, that sounds so gross. <laughs> Come to think of it, I do think I saw a guy uh, in front of school game eating some very glass Salisbury steak off the ground. Did he get an upset stomach, maybe? What should I do? 
Um. Oh man. Okay, I I feel like an absolute ass for doing this, but I'm gonna let it be. I doubt an idiot like him can he get, get sick anyway. I'm sure everything's fine. <clears throat> okay, next time I'm gonna romance him and I'm gonna make make him feel better. <clears throat> it's lunchtime. I'm so hungry. Wait, crap! I didn't bring my lunch today. Ugh. I guess I'll head to the cafeteria and get that. Oh, what? Opabinia said I love. Oh, that reminds me. I think I heard the baked hallucinogenia with olive fragrance that released two weeks ago is super delicious. It's pretty popular. Hmm, what should I get? Um, these both sound interesting. But let's save here. How about this baked hallucinogenia? I think I'll try that uh, of that house of Genia. It'll probably sell it fast, so I better get going. All right. <sighs> Wait for me, my sweet hallucinogenia. Bonk. Uh oh. Oof. Oh, yes, uh, uh, yep. uh, ow, M my leg. Ow. Hey, you want a senpai? I'm so sorry. <clears throat> no. The apology is mine. I was being far too careless. I was walking too quickly. Please forgive me. Yikes, yeah, sorry. I was in a rush and pretty much rammed into you. Can you stand up? I held out my hand for Eora Senpai and helped him back up. Ooh. Ouch. Oh man, you look like you're in pain. I hope you didn't sprain your ankle when I ran into you. Uh... I mean... I don't know. Piggyback ride? I feel like that's... feasible, right? Senpai, I'll take you to uh, see the nurse. Let me give you a piggyback ride, okay? Just get on my back. Uh, are you sure? I weigh about 150 pounds. That's easy. That's easy. Don't be shy. Climb on a board. Uh, if you insist. Senpai looked pretty dang nervous as he pulled himself onto my back. Holy... Sh he's heavy. Gah, of course he would be. He is pretty tall. I can't hold his weight at all. Herg. Oh no. Hey, you don't have to force yourself. If I hop on one foot, I can get there myself. Hmm. Hang on. What? What are you doing there with Aorta? Huh? Emeth? Huh? A new character? This late in the game? <laughs> Who are you? <clears throat> um, who's caring? You just get away from Eorda right now. Uh, um, this person is just trying to help me, so there's no way to be so harsh. Who is this? Is this someone you know, Ayora Senpai? Suddenly he stood up, placing all of his weight on one foot as if trying to pacify the person uh, that had just appeared before us. You are way too close to the student council president, understand? I will not stand for that insolence. You had better watch it. I don't get this new character at all that well, but she had Aorta Senpai lean on her shoulder and hobble on one foot as they hurried away from the cafeteria. Wow, okay. Wow, so we're gonna get the rival right before the game ends. Alright. <laughs> wow, yeah, what the hell was that? She had the same pale skin as Aorta Senpai, and I could tell she wasn't super fluent in this language, so is she in his family or something? Nah, I've got no clue. 
Well, I think I think he mentioned that Emeth was like his friend, so I'm guessing that's like his childhood friend or something. Um, which is gonna be interesting because, <laughs> jeez, a rival now. I mean, I guess it makes sense because he's a president, so he's popular probably. Ah, <sighs> it's already February. The months fly by so quickly. The third term is just about to end now. And then, it'll be my last year of high school. Looking back, this year really was over in a blink of an eye. I transferred to Koshi and Karameru in, in April, met someone I was sure I'd never get along with, and then we ended up becoming friends more or less. I wonder if we'll be able to say as we are now. I just, every time I talk to him, I find myself wishing that we could be even closer. But I'm so afraid that we'll ruin the relationship we have right now, so... I pretend not to notice that voice in my head. I can't even imagine what would happen if I told him I love him. Maybe he'd stop seeing me as a friend? Would we be able to go back to how we are now? Or maybe he'd even tell me he loves me too? Will we start dating? I just don't know what to do. Confess! <clears throat> right, I should confess. It's February, so Valentine's Day is coming up. It's the day you give chocolate to the person you like. I'll take this chance to tell him how I really feel when I give him that chocolate. Now that that's decided, I should figure out what his favorite chocolate is. If I'm going to go through all the trouble of making something, I should at least make sure, uh, I should at least make sure it's something that he likes. Good morning. Oh, Eora Senpai, good morning. Ask about his taste. So, uh, Senpai, do you like chocolate? Do you mean the candy made from cacao beans? Uh, if that's it, I've tried it before. The way it melts in your mouth, mouth is quite interesting. You're nodding, so I'm guessing that's a yes. So then, do you have a favorite kind, maybe? Mmm, okay. Hmm, <clears throat> I'm not sure if this planet has the same flavors, but if I must answer, I prefer it plain with no additional flavorings. The food is already uh, the food here is already flavorful as it is. No idea what you're saying, but I'll keep it in mind. Thanks a bunch! Alright, so we're gonna make a good chocolate for him. We're gonna romance him. Ugh, I sense a disturbance. Oh, Marshmallow Coon, is it? <laughs> it feels like it's been ages since I last saw you. Catch you later. Uh, bye. <clears throat> Alright. Ah, Spawn Call Fujita Kun this Oh, hi, Ogozaimas. Ah, Sequence Fujita Kun. Good morning. Oh, Mr. Arakawa, good morning. Catch you later. Alright, so plain with nothing, right? <laughs> Ew, check out that sludge under your feet. Morning, Psyche. Catch you later. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm going home early so I can get to work uh, on that chocolate. I'll have to get a bar of chocolate on my way home. Um, plain. Milk chocolate is definitely the way to go. And then nothing, right? I think. Okay, first I have to melt the chocolate and pour it into the molds. What shape should I use? Um... Hmm... I feel like he would prefer small and easy to eat over like a giant heart. If it's smaller, it's easier to eat. And it doesn't get your hands all sticky. They say it's the uh, thought that counts, right? Should I mix something with uh, in it before it, it hardens? Um, <laughs> money. Nothing. We're keeping it nice and simple. That way you can savor the taste of the ingredients. And last of the toppings, what should I add? Nothing. I'll play it safe and not add anything. All right, this chocolate is done. I can't believe I'm actually going to confess to him um, on Valentine's Day. I'm freaking out. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It's almost at the end of the game. Because like I remember with Arakawa, it was after confession 
that things really started rolling. I'm kind of scared. <laughs> It's finally Valentine's Day, which means it's finally time to confess. I just have to muster up the courage. I know I can do it. Whew, it's just about time to track him down. Aorta Senpai, let's go. All right, let's go find Aorta Senpai. I, I bet he's studying in the library before class. Ah, there he is. Oh, good morning. Are you here to study too? You sure are a hard worker. <sighs> Just muster up the courage, Ray. You've got this. I held out the chocolate I made for him. And what's this? A present for me? Uh, um, so this is for you. I made it. Oh, that reminds me. I did hear that today was a pe peculiar holiday called Valentine's Day wherein people present each other with chocolate. Uh, Aorta Senpai, you may see me as just another student at this school, but you're special to me. There's only one single you in the whole world. I want us to be more than just a senpai in this kohai. I, I like how hard you're always working for the school, and how diligent you are, and how clumsy you are in spite of that, and I... I like you, senpai. So please go out with me. <laughs> I... Oh, he's so cute! <laughs> Huh? Me? Y you like me? You want to date me? And if you don't under didn't understand that, I'll just say it again and again until you do. I like you, senpai. I'm serious about this. I understand your strong feelings, but I, I don't know how to respond to you. Um... If you can accept my feelings for you, Senpai, please nod your head. Or if you don't, you can shake it. <laughs> oh? Oh my gosh, why is he crying? Hold that. Uh. Um, um. <laughs> Oh my gosh, he spoke. He spoke for the first time. Yo. Me, love you. Uh, Aorta Senpai, you can speak our language? I mean, uh, you like me back? So that means it goes both ways? Demo. But, Dame. can't. Can't love. Aorta Senpai stepped up to me while shaking his head uh, sadly. Oh no! What's going on? <clears throat> and then, without making eye contact, he hurried out the library. I stood there, frozen still, as if, as if time had stopped. I wanted to run after him. I wanted to ask him why. If it's mutual, then why? Why did he reject me? There were so many thoughts spinning in my head, but my body wouldn't move an inch, as if I had been turned into a stone. The floor of the library where he'd been standing was stained with teardrops. Oh no, poor thing. Oh no, what's going on? Okay, I feel like something really messed up's gonna happen. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. <clears throat> I'm I'm scared. <clears throat> Aorta Senpai totally rejected me. Even a day later, I'm still trying to cope with it. But even though he turned me down, he started crying and clumsily stuttered out that he liked me. So I'm having a hard time accepting it. If he likes me back, then our feelings are mutual. 
So we could be dating right now. Hmm. Maybe there is a complicated reason for uh, it all that he just couldn't express in his own language. I can't just let go as long as there's a possibility like that. Good morning. <clears throat> oh. Oh, good morning. Oh, so he's deliberately avoiding me. Senpai, what's wrong? No, this is so sad. I thought about Aorta Senpai all morning, and before I knew it, it was time for lunch. It's stupid to just keep worrying about it like this. I'm sure I'll, I'll be able to find him in the library after school today. I'll ask him one more time then. I can't back down until I hear his reasoning, or like, until he mimes it out. Hey, you! Whoa, it's that new character. It's you, right? The person stalking Aorta? Can you not make it sound like I'm committing a crime? Seriously, genuinely uh, in love with him. Who are you, anyway? I'm Emeth. I come from the same country as Aorta. You're so fluent, Emmet-san. I am brilliant, but I still don't have much practice. Anyway, I have something to tell you. We can stand here and talk, but I predicted that you will waste time, so we will go to the central hall. Uh, sure? Mm. There's nothing else I want to talk about, uh, I want to talk about to you, except for about Aorta. No, Aorta Senpai? Hmm. Okay, so this person and Aorta Senpai are both from the same place, so she must know what he's saying. Hmm, so maybe we, she can ex explain why he refused to go out with me. Hey, Emmet-san, so basically, I like Aorta Senpai. Romantically, I mean, but... I know! He rejected you? Huh? Wait, how did you know? There's no way that the likes of you could date Aorta. No, no way. How could you know that about him? What is your relationship with Aorta Senpai anyway? Ooh. Yo, that is a. Whoo, that. I'm Aorta's fiance, the person who was selected as his bride. What? His fiance? Wh what time period are we in? I thought the whole culture of arranged marriages had gone extinct by now. You've got to be kidding me. This was a decision of his family, so it's not a matter of times or laughing. He has me, so he rejected your confession. If he had accepted you, it would have been such a betrayal of me and his family. Oh, oh my god. Then Aorta Senpai is staying with you to placate his family, even though he actually likes me? I have known that Aorta has some fondness for you for some time. Every time I talk with Aorta, the subject always turns to you. Aorta 
but he has to do what his family says. He's a poor student, despite being the oldest son of one of the most powerful families in our country. Poor student? Aorta Senpai? There's no way that's true. Even in this huge-ass school, he's been, still been at the top of his class the whole time. He's noble and dignified and crazy smart. Even if he's a little clumsy at times, it just adds to his charm. So please don't call him a poor student. Your country and my country are on different levels. I come, uh, I came to this country a few months ago, but Ewara still hasn't learned the language of this country. His mental capacity and physical capacity are very low. His family is disappointed in him. Oh my gosh. <laughs> He is going to become engaged to me in this country and invade the area from that position. We will take over this country. Aorta tricked you humans and studied at the school for that purpose. But if he cannot do it, his family will disown him. He will betray his parents' expectations. He can absolutely never disobey them. I felt sorry for him. I had to do something to help him. That's why I came to the school. If I'm not here, he cannot speak English or Japanese. He cannot do anything. You are not Aorta's partner. I will become his partner. That is why you need to stay away from him. Stop getting involved. If you keep doing this, Aorta will be sad, and then he will suffer. No, no, that's... there's no way that's true. A fiancé, being a poor student, his parents being disappointed, taking over this country? No, I can't believe any of that. Please stop joking around. Oh my <laughs> I do not lie. You are not suitable to be Aorta's partner if you do not even understand the language he speaks. You said you're going to invade this city? Then what's going to happen to the school? This is my home. Who knows? I have not heard about it. You will be driven out or used for labor. Maybe. But do not worry. I will not let that happen. Huh? I do not want to live in this dirty and barbaric town. I will take you over to home with me to where I used to live and we will live together. If he's with me, even if his family abandons him, he will have a place to stay. Aorta is safe. So do nothing more. If you do not listen to what I have to say, you will lose your place to stay. I came to tell you that. Sheesh, okay. <laughs> this turned out very interesting. Um, 
I don't get what's going on at all. She said Eora Senpai came here to invade the country? He tricked us? Someone as kind and cool and as cute as him? I wonder if what Emmett saw, said was actually true. And if it is, is the best thing to do really to stay away from Eora Senpai? Dang. I kept thinking about it over and over, and before I realized it, school was out. This week is the graduation ceremony. Eora Senpai is our third year, so he's gonna be graduating, and then he won't be able to spend time together anymore. Emmet-san looked so serious back before, but if I did what she said and she ended up taking Eora Senpai back to the home country, I would never see him again. He only managed to tell me that he loved me with that one single time, and now... We're going to be separated forever? I can't just keep going back and forth. I have to make a decision. I'm going to find Eero Senpai. I'll bet he's in the library. Oh my gosh. This is so messed up. There he is. As usual, he was studying uh, at a table in the library. Textbooks and notes spread out around him. After making sure there was no one else in there, I quickly, uh, quietly locked the door. Um, um... Eora Senpai, I just want you to nod or shake your head for me, okay? I heard from Emmett san that you came here with the intention of invading our country. Is that true? And also, is Emmett san your fiance? Is that why you turned me down? <sighs> yes, that's why. That is the reason why I came to your human country. I was instructed to do so by my parents, and that is the reason why I can't be your partner. Eora Senpai gave, uh, gave a small nod, so what Emmett san said was true. I see. So with that in mind, I... Oh, sheesh, okay. Hmm. I feel like this is gonna be like the big here. I mean... Um... I guess... I'll take it back. I feel like it's like the best choice. Senpai, I'd appreciate if you pretended my confession yesterday never happened. <laughs> huh? It's not that I care whether you you invade the country or whatever, but I want you to do what will make you the happiest, Eora Senpai. And the person who can make you the happiest is Emmett-san. You chose her, not me, after all. So I hope you stop letting your family jerk you around and find uh find what you want for yourself. You're really cool-headed and so dig dignified too. Kind of a klutz, clumsy, but you're good. You're a good person. You may never come back here again, but. Your happiness is my happiness. <sighs> then, I suppose this is goodbye. Thank you for all that you've done to me. Uh, but to think that you admire me this much. Eora Senpai grabbed my arm as I turned back uh, to leave the turned to leave the library. He must have been worrying about me. <sighs> Thank you, senpai. But it's okay. I said, tried to smile through the painful goodbye. No, I've had it. Can't you see how wishy-washy you're being? I get that you can't do anything about your situation, but if you, even if you can't make those decisions, you could at least uh, not be as sel so selfish to, as to make me stay. I can never understand anything you're saying at all anyway. Just, just go back to your home country already. Huh? Why am I saying these things? I just wish you'd never told me. I wish you'd told me you just hated me. Oh no. I ran out of the library. I never wanted to say any of that really. I didn't want uh, I didn't want to end things like this. It's also because he showed me that side of him. It made me want to keep loving him, even though he rejected me. It made me even want to find a way to actually win him over. But there's no way I could do any of that now. I 
didn't actually want to say he hated me. No, I was so happy when he returned my feelings. I regretted it all so much. By the day of graduation ceremony, I was already thinking about those regrets and about Eora Senpai himself as things of the past. It was like the, uh, it was just like there was something weighing down my body and making my steps heavy. I insisted I didn't care anymore, but my eyes were still unconsciously searching for him. For some reason, I was almost relieved to see that he didn't come to the ceremony. Apparently, he hadn't come to school at all that day. Oh my gosh. After the lengthy ceremony, I went out to the courtyard, hoping to get some fresh air. It was all over, him and me. No need to harbor any regrets. <sighs> I need a change of pace so I can have a better time at school next year. Oh! Oh, oh hey, there you are. Ah, congrats on graduating, Maximum Mori Senpai. Thank you for being the president of the Occult Research Club. It's a shame we had to say goodbye already, but I appreciate our time together uh, up to now. それはそうと、手紙をアウルタから預かったので、私に来ましたよ。By the way, これ、エオラ had me hold on to a letter for you. Here it is. Huh? From Eora Senpai? The one and only.、ええ彼は家の事情で忙しそうなので、卒業式には出られなかったけれど、君のことを気にかけていましたから。The one and only seems he got caught up in some family business, so he couldn't come to the graduation, but he was still pretty worried about you. それじゃ、僕はこれで。So, I'll just leave this here with you. My name was written in sloppy letters that didn't look right on such a beautifully sealed envelope. He must have done this,、uh, his best to write it down. When I opened the letter and read it, I found the sentences were short and messy, and I had a hard time understanding what it meant. Oh no. Oh no, poor thing. Even if you forget me, I will always think of you. Senpai. Even though I said such horrible things to you, even though I regret so much, Even though I was still trying to forget everything that happened. Even though we'll never see each other ever again. Even though I wish with all my heart that I could forget this never ending suffering. You still want to live with that pain, Senpai? Even if I forget you, you always think of me. I know you'll do it, oh, I know you'll do it too, because you're a stubborn guy and you never lie, and you always keep your promises. I know because I've spent so much time with you. At the bottom of the page was written, From Aorta with Love. Reading it caused a tear to fall into the paper and smear the ink. That's it? No. What? Oh man. I mean, I guess he went back home, so that's good. But also, damn. Oh my gosh. That's so sad. Oh man. Okay, so I know for a fact that from clearing Arakawa's ending, that there's two endings per character. So I'm gonna choose the other option and see what that. Entails. And I have a feeling it's gonna be really bad. Well, that's the first ending, I guess. Dang. Alright. The emotional damage, bro. That was, that was a little bit bittersweet, but. I mean, I'm just glad that he's like. Okay. Let's load up the last save. So, okay. So the first that we did was to take back my confession and how about, what happens if we confess again? I love you, Aora Senpai. I just can't seem to give up. I can just hand you over to Emmetsan. You don't belong to your,、uh, in your home country or with Emmetsan. You belong with me. 
あ、濡れてよいな。ああ、ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。It's just not right to marry someone you don't like just because your family said so. Senpai, please, please come with me. As much as I want to, I can't betray my family. I'm sorry. Eora Senpai shook his head, but that didn't matter to me anymore. Oh no. <laughs> I don't like where this is going. I know you don't want to betray your family or Emeth son or anything, and there's also a bunch of other things you have to do. But you don't need any of that if you have me, right? Because we love each other. What? Oh my gosh. I covered his mouth before he could say anything else, and then I grabbed his arm and pinned, it, pinned him onto the library floor. Senpai groaned as his head to. Head hit the hardwood floor. He struggled to say anything as he,、uh, as he tried to shake me off, but there was no need to li listen to him at this point. Even if I did, I wouldn't understand him. Shh, you're being too loud, Senpai. You have to be quiet in the library. Oh, fudge. W oh my gosh. I slapped his face and he shut up instantly. If you won't choose me, then I'll just have to make sure,、uh, then I'll just have to make it so that you can't live without me. What? Senpai stared at me, wide eyed, as I undid his tie and began to strip him down. I'm、uh, sorry, what? Yo! Oh no. What? I didn't know how much time passed since then, but every time he tried to speak, I hit him until he stopped trying. Oh my gosh. I love seeing tears running down your face, Senpai. I should take a picture. Yo! What? What? No. What? Oh my gosh. If you ever start getting upset about your family or Emmetson again, I'll send, this,、uh, I'll send them this picture of your beautiful crying face. Ew! I'm sure you wouldn't want the people who have taken care of you up to now, your parents, Emmetson, and all the other students, to see you in such a sorry state. They'd be so disappointed in you. What am I reading? So from now on, I'll hide you at my house and you'll live with me forever and ever. You won't have to worry about a single thing. Even if you're a poor student who can't do a single thing, I'll always love you. With love greater and deeper than any other. <sighs> What? Wait. What? Oh my gosh. This is worse. <laughs> Yo, go back. I like the other ending better. What the? Oh my gosh. What? This is like literally the worst thing that could happen. Oh. I don't think my mental health is okay after this. <laughs> One of the most twisted endings I've seen in like a visual novel. So you're blackmailing him, and then you're like, you can't do anything other than live with me? Basically? Sheesh. That's so gross. What did I just play? Oh my gosh. <laughs> At least the song's good. Yeah, I don't know if I want to. Keep playing this game. <laughs> Especially after that ending. Jeez Louise. Well, that was、uh, quite the emotional damage. <laughs> like, I didn't know that the main character out of like, all the things would be the one that's like 
the most messed up one. I guess that's a twist that they intended, but thanks for watching the stream. Um, I might stream this game in the future, but I think I'm going to have to take a little break just because like how heavy that was just now to process all this. Like the first ending was fine. The first ending was fine. And then the second ending just like really messed me up. So I'm going to have to not play this game for a little bit. <laughs> I'll probably stream other more lighthearted games. And then, um... Maybe, maybe in a few months I'll, I'll come back to it, or maybe I'll play it off stream. But anyway, thank you so much for playing this with me. Um, I'll upload the VOD uh, to my YouTube channel so you can watch it over there. And thank you, and have a good night. Bye.